Hey, well, I'm back to you in today's video. You have a bit of a long range look here today, looking uh, to June into July as well with some of the longer range updates. So, before I get on with that, just to mention advertising the best video ads, so my page is at gaswebbiz.com. And if you play on with video ads, you'll be supporting gaswebbiz.com. And uh, thanks very much for doing that. It helps pay for the website, basically. So, if you hit play on the ad and see what it's all about, it uh, does help to uh, pay for the website. Allows me to sit here and talk to you, really, via the website. Thanks so much for doing that. So we're going to start off with the JMA model, and then we'll go on and have a look at the CFS and the Beijing Climate Centre too. Of course, it's JMA Friday, the Japanese model updates every uh, Friday for the uh, month ahead. So that's where we're going to start today, and this first weekly period will be taking us to, uh, to the 5th of June. It's from the 29th uh, to the 5th, so the week back there. Uh, currently in. Uh, 500 millimetre heights, you know about these, the blue colours extrapolating to low pressure, the uh, orange and red colours extrapolating to high pressure, so the British Isles just here, we're upside down, and it's the same sort of pattern that we've had for quite a while actually, we've got high pressure in the Atlantic, we've got a high pressure up to the northeast, and then in between we've got unfortunately this trough of below average heights uh, sitting around the country, um, that is low pressure so it's an unsettled signal really for the coming week low pressure will be sort of in control because we're in between those two areas of high pressure not far away from being really quite settled but it's just not quite right with that trough of low pressure the jet stream is running through something like this actually so uh, we're more or less on the warmer side of the jet so it's not going to be particularly cold uh, but it is quite an unsettled um, sort of scenario and the winds generally are from an east to southeasterly type direction now, the second week's period will be taking us from the 5th to the 12th of June. And uh, there's no real change with this. The trough is still sort of dominating uh, on this chart uh, going into the second week of the month. We've got low pressure there, really quite uh, in control. High pressure is sitting up to the northeast, but it's not close enough to be impacting us. So that's another unsettled week, really, going into the second week of June. Uh, I say 5th to 12th. Um, low pressure is in control of that. So showers or longer spells of rain, really, that is quite an unsettled looking signal. I am hopeful that we might get some slightly better weather going into the second week of the month, but uh, certainly the Japanese isn't really indicating that. Now, as we get through to the final two week period, which takes us from the 12th to the 26th of of June, then there is still this idea, and it was there last week, that we start to push the trough more towards the west of the country, so that's where the low pressure is now, down to the uh, southwest and to the west. No real sign of high pressure for us, but the heights are definitely uh, coming up, so I think the idea is that gradually it's probably turning more and uh, more settled through that second half of June. It could be a slow old process, but gradually we're lifting the trough out, I think, and stalling it more to the west of the country and possibly getting some sort of ridge building to uh, the east or the northeast but it is quite tentative that and to be honest um, there's no real signal from the Japanese yet of anything particularly settled coming up just the hints there but maybe things could pick up a little bit as we go into the second half of the month in terms of getting some uh, pr higher pressure building uh, around the country. Now, uh, I thought we'd go on to the CFS model next and perhaps have a look at the uh, rainfall anomalies broken down into weekly periods. These are quite uh, useful. I haven't used these for a while. This is from the website weatherweb.net. You can find the link to weatherweb.net on my links page. As I say, we're breaking the rainfall anomalies down into weekly periods with, uh, with this. So this is the first week period taking us again to the 5th of June, so the same week that we were just looking at on the uh, Japanese model of the week that we started off with. Obviously, British Isles is just there. And the idea is that we are unsettled. There's uh, showers or maybe some longer spells of rain across the country. The driest weather, perhaps up to the north, and the wettest weather down to the south, quite unusually. But sort of an unsettled type signal through that coming through the coming weekly period. Uh, and I think that's right. We're going to have some drier weather over this weekend. I mean, it'll turn a little bit more unsettled as we go through into next week. The second week period will be taking us uh, up to week ending the 12th of June. Uh, and again, the idea then and it's still generally unsettled, not really settling down. Um, perhaps wet is this time in the northwest and dry is in the southeast, but nowhere again particularly dry, but jet stream more or less uh, coming through the country. 
as we go through to the third weekly period and this uh, weekly period will be taking us to the week ending the 19th of June again not really settling down there's showers or longer spells of rain at the very least uh, going on here uh, I say not really uh, any signs of things turning particularly settled through this weekly period going to go on to the next week, weekly uh, period unfortunately there is a delay on these charts clicking over which is a bit annoying but this is the next week period which takes us to the 26th of June and again you see that the idea is that it still generally is unsettled there's no particular sign for any of these weekly periods that we're getting a very dry uh, week and of course the driest areas are where we've got these uh, white areas here that's where it's completely dry uh, as an anomaly through that week period now, that doesn't mean there won't be dry that dry days or drier days there will certainly be but averaged out over the week uh, there's no sign of anything particularly settled coming up uh, on the CFS model uh, through June now these uh, charts of course update daily uh, at weatherweb.net so this is just the very latest update from the CFS model uh, if you come and have a look at tomorrow's update it could look different to this but the snapshot for today is that there's nothing particularly settled coming up through June it is quite an unsettled sort of pattern as we go out into July actually this is the uh, precipitation anomaly forecast for the week and in the 3rd of July and again we're still bringing precipitation through here more or less running the jet stream in across the country so it's unsettled at the very least uh, there's showers or longer spells of rain and as far as we're going to go is week 6 six weeks away uh, which takes us to the week ending the 10th of July and still sort of the idea that it is generally unsettled of course we've got big events coming up through this period uh, Glastonbury Wimbledon uh, so big sporting events and festivals going on through uh, June and there's no sign of anything especially settled coming up but that doesn't mean that there won't be some settled days mixed in have a quick look at the 500 bit of our height anomalies for the Beijing climate center these are broken down into 10 day periods um, if the chart clicks over there we go uh, the first 10 day period takes us from the 5th of June to the 14th of June Blue again below average height, so the idea is that we bring an Atlantic trough in across the country. It is reasonably unsettled through this period. Uh, the next 10 day period takes us from the 15th to the 24th of June, and again, we've got below average heights here around the country, so it's unsettled at the very least. Not desperately below average heights, I have to emphasize there's not in deep blue curves, so it's not deep troughs, so uh, it's sort of the tight pattern that we've got at the moment I think actually which is that it's unsettled uh, there's some drier uh, days mixed in but never truly uh, settling down I think that could be what we're facing in June a month that's unsettled some drier days coming along but never a prolonged spell of very dry weather uh, and as we go out to the final 10 day period which takes us from the 25th of June to the 4th of July we've still got those blue colours there around the country so it still is reasonably unsettled and actually it's turning cooler with that because again high pressure or some sort of ridge building to the south of Greenland so that's pushing the jet stream southwards as well so actually it looks as we go through to the end of uh, June into the start of July on this one um, it does turn uh, a little bit cooler as well probably and it's still quite unsettled now having said all of that and it is a bit of a doom and gloom type scenario I have to admit we have got to some quite uh, decent charts uh, showing up on the GFS model for this second week of June I uh, was told, telling you about it uh, earlier I did think that we uh, could get some uh, better weather through uh, the second week of June. Here's the latest uh, GFS. We've got the trough of low pressure here at date uh, 8, Friday the 6th, a week away, sitting to the west of the So it's still unsettled, although bringing up southerly winds, it's not calm. But as we move through, we do see uh, that as we get through to day 10, Monday the 9th, we're beginning to build this ridge of high pressure up from the Azores as we get through to Wednesday the 11th of June. Yeah, we've got high pressure coming in quite nicely, so that could be uh, a fairly decent period it's certainly warm up and it could be mainly dry and the GFS is picking up on this quite a lot so despite what we was just looking at with those longer range models <coughs> excuse me not really suggesting anything particularly settled I do think as we get through 
into the second week and up towards the middle of June, we may get a drier, warmer spell of weather. Here's the East MDF again uh, on Saturday the 7th, showing this ridge of high pressure starting to come in. And if we go through uh, to day 10, I can show you uh, the day 10 chart. Uh, just very quickly showing you uh, this it, it does show that the high pressure will gradually start to uh, come in across the country and things should uh, begin to settle down there we go we begin to get a bit of a ridge of high pressure building up there although it's not as strong as on the uh, GFS and actually we're still bringing some troughs of low pressure through across the country so it's a difficult one to call again for June uh, I think we're probably looking at an unsettled uh, month but it's not going to be a complete disaster I think we will get some dry spells and um, the GFS is definitely sort of hinting at that uh, for the second week of the month uh, going up towards the middle of the month but then maybe things deteriorating again as we get through into the second half of the month but I wouldn't expect anything particularly prolonged uh, and fine in terms of the weather through June I think it'll be a case of a day or two of decentish weather and then probably deteriorating again that's what I'm suspecting or what I'm uh, uh, sort of thinking is going to happen based on these longer range charts but it's quite a difficult one to call because the high pressure is up to the northeast it's close um, so the models are struggling with this uh, but that's what I think we're facing an unsettled June not a total washout uh, but sort of uh, unsettled conditions at times. I've got to do the June forecast next week, so it'll be interesting to uh, see what I predict with that in terms of the temperatures and the precipitation anomalies through the course of the uh, coming month. That's it for now. It's a weekend forecast tomorrow. All very speculative, by the way. This video, don't take it too seriously. All of these longer range models are experimental. Uh, that's always the caveat with uh, long range updates. So it's just for fun, really, and for pointers of what may be ahead, but it isn't to be relied upon by any means. As I say, weekend forecast tomorrow using tried and tested shorter range models. Uh, but that's all for now. Thanks for watching.